I'm Sydney Summer, creator of the fashion and style blog, Sydney Style. And I'm here today with Dr. Deborah Luffman to answer all your skincare questions. So Dr. Luffman has been with Simple Skin Care for over two years now, and she has amazing tips on how to keep your skin healthy and hydrated for summer months. So thank you so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. It is a beautiful day. Talk about a great summer day. Gorgeous. We asked the Simple Skin Care community, as well as my social following, all their skincare questions. So are you ready to answer them? Ready. Okay, so let's get started. So we hear a lot that it's important to hydrate and moisturize the skin, but what's the difference between hydrating and moisturizing? Right, a lot of people don't realize there is a difference between moisturizing and hydrating the skin. In fact, moisturizing forms a barrier film on the skin's surface to prevent moisture loss, and this makes the skin feel softer and smoother. Hydrating, on the other hand, refers to make the skin plump and supple by replenishing those skin cells with water and moisture. So why is it so important to hydrate during the summer months? Because in the summer months, the skin can become dehydrated due to heat, sweating, and sunburn. So do you recommend hydrating the skin differently in summer versus winter months? Definitely. Skin gets oilier in the summer and is more prone to breakouts and sunburns. To prep the skin, make sure to use a lightweight, oil-free moisturizer and cleanser. That's a great tip because I know my skin definitely gets oilier when it's hot. So obviously in the summer, we sweat a lot more. So do you have any tips on how to prevent those sweat-induced breakouts? Absolutely. Sweat may cause acne breakouts, so make sure to cleanse the skin in the morning and night with products that are kind to the skin, like Simple Skin Care. So what effect does summer heat actually have on the skin? Heat increases sweat and oil production, so to control excess oil production, pack an on-to-go cleansing wipe like Simple Skin Care Cleansing Facial Wipes for a quick skin refresher. I absolutely love those cleansing wipes. I actually keep them in my gym bag, so after I work out, I just do a little once-over. So refreshing and hydrating too, right? So a lot of people had questions about exfoliating. In the summer, do you have to exfoliate? Yes, but don't over exfoliate. This can cause irritation and dryness, especially if your skin is a little sunburned. Only exfoliate twice a week. So what do you do after you exfoliate? Well, you want to moisturize. Okay, so you just use a simple moisturizer? Yes, a very lightweight moisturizer during the summer months especially. One of my favorite parts about living in LA is we can go to the beach and the pool year round. Of course, in the summer, everyone can do this, but you get chlorine and salt, so does that do anything to your skin? Absolutely. Salt water and chlorine can be harsh on the skin, causing it to become easily dehydrated and irritated. Post-dip, make sure to cleanse and hydrate skin with micellar cleansing water. So that's a great thing to pack in your beach bag. Perfect. So after you take a dip and you want to take a shower, do you do hot water or cold water? Hot water can strip natural oils and moisture out of the skin. So if you stick to warm water, not hot, you're fine. Post shower, remember to moisturize. A lot of people get scared to switch up their skincare routine. So is there anything you recommend to experiment with different beauty products? That's a really great question. Only add one product to your skincare routine at a time. When testing the waters with new skincare products, give your skin ample time, five days even, to showcase any sensitivities. Okay, so last question. What is the number one skincare tip that you tell every one of your patients? You know, I just can't choose one, but always apply your sunblock, keep a bottle of mineral spray around to mist the skin midday, and pack cleansing facial wipes for a quick on-the-go cleanse. So you always want your skin to be clean, moisturized, and protected from the sun, right? Those were some really great tips. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And I learned so much. I really hope you guys did too. And if you want more tips from Dr. Deborah Luffman, you can head to simpleskincare.com.